Hotel. Hello, this is Frank, K4FMH, Fox Mike Hotel with the ICQ Podcast. We're in Xenia, Ohio uh, with the Ham Bench of 2019. And looky here, there used to be an old TV show where one of the stars said, Alice, to the moon, to the moon, Alice. And we're going to go to the moon today. I think my guest, Ray Novak, is going to tell us using an ICOM transceiver that's just been released very recently, how we can go to the moon and back. Ray, glad to have you. Well, thank you very much, Frank. Yes, we, we have, we debuted at Tokyo Ham Fair a couple years ago, the IC9700. And when you say to the, to the moon and back, we're talking about Earth, Moon, Earth Communications, EME. The 9700 is a two meter, 440, 1.2 gig, all mode base station satellite functionality, uh, direct sampling for VHF and UHF, a single conversion, single down conversion from 1.2 down to about 330 megahertz. So it is the industry's first direct sampling transceiver for VHF, UHF use. Well, you know, one of the things I've been impressed about, I've, I've been a shortwave listener for decades, and I've looked at your receivers, and you have had perhaps not the profile that your product deserves, but in my humble opinion, you have had some of the best shortwave receivers, and I'm talking about professional class, almost NSA quality, and I, I think it hasn't gotten the, the, the product review that it deserved. Here's what I'm hearing. This is following in the footsteps of all that development, and you've put that in a package that hams who are now more and more excited about working sats. We got more sats up there to work. Earth, Moon, Earth, Bounce. We've got more technology, more education and discussion. And here's what I'm hearing. Now we got a box all in one where you can do it all. Just about do it all. Um, the 9100, its predecessor, covered HF6, 2 and 440. This picks up at 2 meters and goes up. But its matching twin, the 7300, adds 6 meters. So when you take a look at doing VHF contesting, which a lot of a lot of younger hams are getting into it because of the tech, technical license for the U.S. But also, it's easier to win at a VHF contest. You don't have to have the huge stacked arrays, the acreage of beverage antennas, the four squares that the guys that are winning the HF contests have. VHF, you could become a rover and have a fabulous time operating six meters, two meters, 432, and 1.2 and I actually did a VHF contest in January and had the two radios stacked I talked to somebody on six meters asked him if they had two went moved to the two meter frequency moved to the 432 all right there together and I could be monitoring six meters when I went through the other two bands to see if there were more in the pile up to do the exact same thing and it becomes fun when you get that technique going but there again that's that's only one phase of the hobby that this radio covers well, you know, just just to put it so that people like me can understand it, I, I go back to the Forrest Gump movie, and he described he and his girlfriend going together, hand in hand, like peas and carrots. And that's what I'm hearing. These two rigs go together like peas and carrots, as we might say in our neck of the woods. Yes, sir. Right, look, uh, ICOM has continued to innovate. And tell us a little bit, let's switch subjects just a little bit. Uh, What's going to be new on the D-Star front? What's your sense and what can you talk about today? Because you have, I have affectionately called you in, in previous interviews, the Pied Piper of D-Star. And you have, by that, you have played that flute and sung that tune and you have led ham radio into the first real uh, digital voice mode. And so D-Star has been out there and ICOM has continued to innovate. What's next for D-Star? Well, it's going to draw us back to this 9700 because we got VHF, UHF 1.2. So I see emergency communications groups adopting this radio because you've got analog and D-star in the radio. So you could have two meters on a VHF analog frequency. You can do D-star on UHF on another one. Or if you're moving everybody on a D-star and running programs like DRATS to root moves some of your traffic and looking at where your assets are deployed because of the GPS, the 9700 has the 128K bit per second data. 
Right. Now, you take a look at the guys going, well, we can do faster than that on 2.4, and in the U.S., our ham license gives us two of those channels. But if you have a large event like what happened in 2005 on the Gulf Coast, right. you're going to have all these agencies coming in that's going to suck up the commercially available off-the-shelf 2.4 gig Wi-Fi equipment. We got 1.2 that is ours. And at 128 k bits per second, it sounds slow nowadays, but 10 years ago, an ISDN data rate was very desirable. Yeah. You can do that with this radio. And you need to download a file from a server that you've got somewhere, you can do it. It's very quick to do it versus any of the other data modes out there. And then you take a look at the congestion that you'll have on your Wi-Fi frequencies. One of the things about what you've talked about with MCOM is that in the U.S., FirstNet is sort of the federal government's partnership with the contract winner AT&T to build a hardened system. And what's going to happen, as Ray was talking about, is it's not that it will fail. It will appear to fail if your cell number does not have priority. And they have a priority set of codes in that, and they're doing some testing on that now. And most of this is out in public domain. What I'm hearing Ray say is this, that for hams, well, we try to fit in those niches where things do fail, and something will fail, and it will fail terribly, unfortunately. Uh, we just did a show on the podcast over in the Pacific Rim where hams came to the day in a fairly uh, underdeveloped country, and they were able to fill in the gaps, and we t were able to tell that story. So this rig will give MCOM hams the ability to use DSTAR at 1.2 and move data where perhaps Arden and what they're doing in microwaves will work and assist, but you're going to have the familiar D-Star capability with voice and data at 1.2 gigahertz. Fair statement? Yes, sir. So now, they are available and they're shipping now. Yes, sir. They, they are. Uh, if a dealer doesn't have one, we've got them in stock so they can ship quickly. Very good. Listen, you've heard it here from Ray Novak at ICOM at Hamvention, and this is Frank K4FMH for the ICQ podcast team.